Hey, this is Connor with Conquest HP, and this is a demonstration of the hip thrust exercise. It's an excellent glute exercise, very similar to a glute bridge, um, but with greater range of motion and probably a better glute contraction as well. So you'll need a bench uh, or a couch or chair, something similar to uh, to approximately knee height on you to do this. Um, but once you do, or once you can arrange that, and you can play with different heights as well. They can be kind of flexible on this. Um, I think you'll find it worthwhile. So for the body weight variation, I'm setting up on the bench. So just beneath my shoulder blades are right on the edge of the bench. I'll move my feet out so that I'm close to 90 degrees knee bend here, maybe a little bit greater. My hips have dropped all the way. And I want to make sure that my spine, just like on the bird dog, my spine is not moving to accomplish this exercise. So I'm not extending my back and then flexing my back. I'm getting into neutral alignment here and then staying in neutral alignment the whole time. So my torso from my shoulder to the bottom of my pelvis moves together as a single as a single unit. You'll need to keep the core tight to, to, um, to keep that stable spine. So I'm letting the hips drop all the way um, my full range of motion should be just off the ground here and then I'm popping them as high up as possible hopefully until knee to hip to shoulder is in alignment um, you want your feet spaced probably about hip width they're just a little bit wider apart on this one um, but try to pause briefly in that top part of the range of motion and slow down the eccentric a little bit to make sure you keep control